Chaco Canyon, New Mexico. In a remote desert region, 150 miles northwest of Albuquerque, lie the mysterious ruins of an ancient Pueblo people. Called the Anasazi, they thrive from 900 to 1100 AD. This is the plaza of Pueblo Bonito. This is a representation of our place in the universe. You've got the worlds above, the worlds below, and this right here is our plane of our world. This is the exact place where time and space began for the ancestral Pueblans who inhabited this place hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Scholars believe the Anasazi, or ancient ones, built their civilization with advanced knowledge of engineering, mathematics, and astronomy. Somehow, some way, they built a city that is perfectly circular, that goes out in perfectly straight lines, that the structures of the city themselves actually predict of the 5200 year cycle of the moon and cycles of the sun, all in the geometry, all in the stone, if you will. These are very elaborate constructions which required engineering skills beyond what the local folks had. It had to be done by an advanced civilization. The Anasazi built Chaco Canyon and they built it as part of a promise of a way of living that they were to uphold the wishes of the Creator. And so Chaco Canyon is the delivery of the teachings. The teachings came from the star people. But how did these ancient people engineer such elaborate structures without modern machinery? And just who were the star people who brought knowledge to the Anasazi? Ancient astronaut theorists believe the answers can be found by looking at the ancient rituals and myths of Chaco Canyon. According to local legends, the Anasazi believed in a multi-dimensional existence and practiced sacred rituals called crystal stargazing, ceremonies believed by some to enable time travel. If you go up into the cliff dwellings of the Anasazi, there are elaborate star maps up in those caves. And that's where the crystal stargazing ceremonies took place, where they had the ability to traverse space and time. What we're seeing within this area are people who basically say that they somehow emerged out of a different dimension onto this place and they say that this for them is a place of emergence they say that they interacted with mysterious creatures did the Anasazi really believe in interdimensional time travel as some ancient astronaut theorists believe if so might they have left behind tangible evidence of otherworldly contact Jasmine, read number 16. I'm standing in front of the petroglyphs at Una Vida, and they're very amazing, as you can tell, with animal life. But there's also some very weird creatures standing there, humanoid figures, and one guy is holding what, to me, looks like a representation of a spiral galaxy. Native Americans were very aware of our place in the universe that we were part of a giant spiral galaxy. The spiral symbol, the one that you see on the walls, is a connection between the Anasazi and the extraterrestrials. They had contact and they either came with them or they either left with them. We just don't know, but it's a bridge that existed between the Anasazi and the star people.
four very interesting humanoid petroglyphs have been found, one of which hovers above the other three humanoids with antennae sprouting out of its head. Some have suggested that this is a depiction of the ancient ant people that emerged to essentially jumpstart human civilization. According to the legends of the Hopi, a Native American tribe believed to be the descendants of the Anasazi, the ant people saved them from the first destruction of the universe. The ant people are described as very special cosmic visitors, maybe even star beings, extraterrestrials, who rescued them from this cataclysm by taking them underground. What's interesting about this is that in ancient Samaria, they tell of beings called the Anunnaki, who also came from the stars. The Hopi word Anu means ant, and the word Naki means friend. Is it possible that the Anunnaki are the ant friends or ant people that the Hopi were describing? Did the Anunnaki of ancient Samaria also appear here in Chaco Canyon thousands of years ago, as many ancient astronaut theorists believe? Perhaps the answer can be found in the local legend of the Wingmakers. 1972, a group of hikers exploring a system of hidden caverns in Chaco Canyon, discovered wall paintings and even cuneiform writing similar to those found on Sumerian artifacts. After careful analysis, ancient astronaut theorists suggest that the caverns were originally inhabited by beings visiting from the future, called the Wingmakers. The Wingmakers were, they claimed, humans and in a sense extraterrestrials from 300 years in the future. And they were using Chaco Canyon as their base for this time zone where they were coming from the future into our present time. My belief is, is that yes, the wing makers were the culture bearers bringing us a look at what our future was, which was mathematics, it was science, it was art, it was cultivation. Might there be truth to the story of the time-traveling wingmakers at Chaco Canyon? And if so, is it possible the wingmakers were actually alien visitors? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes and suggest the evidence still lies in Chaco Canyon. This is a kiva. A kiva was known to be the most sacred of places where ceremonies took place with the ancestral Pueblans when they talked about the cosmos, the universe, and our place in the universe. Mainstream archaeologists believe the kivas were once covered with timber to make a roof. But strangely, some Hopi legends refer to this circular structure as a cloud house. What if these cloud houses were nothing else but biodomes or biospheres made of nuts and bolts? It is interesting that biospheres today look as if people are living sort of sunk into the ground with a giant dome over it. And here we have something very similar. So the question is, why would anybody do this? And according to the ancient myths, they were witness to an incredible event that had something to do with ancient aliens. And to them, it was a divine encounter. Is it possible that alien beings inhabited biospheres in Chaco Canyon, like those our own scientists envision for future use on other planets? And might they have traveled here, not in spacecraft, but through an interdimensional space-time portal?